Don't worry. I'll watch over him. Goodbye, Sarah. It's time for me to face the future. Rest well. Why is there a child's corpse here? Anyways, welcome back. Just a child? Could it have died here? It? Wow, that's kind of rude. Just a child. Anyways, we're back. Still time to explore. More gargoyles. I feel like they're always watching me. Question is, are we actually back in the real world, or are we, um, are we still kind of inside his mind? This gate is shut tight. What could be so important inside? Well, those look like blood scenes, so <laughs> not a good time for whoever's inside. More gargoyles. I feel like they're always watching me. Alright, let's see what's behind door number three here. Ah, it opens. Imagine that. Stern-looking fellow? Where do I know him from? Impressive, isn't it? Yes. The artist really captured his strength in this pose. I'd introduce you to him, but he's, um, visiting my mother. She's been feeling run down lately, so my father thought it best that she get some rest at the clinic. I guess we should be going. We don't, uh... Jacob? I wasn't expecting you. I assumed with finals coming up next week that you'd be spending your time in the library. Instead, I find you here, wasting valuable time. I've more than prepared for the finals, Father. You needn't be concerned. I'll do just fine. You'll do just fine? Fine. Is that your goal? I thought I taught you better than that. Anyone can do fine. I don't want you to be just like every other student at medical school turns out. Remain focused on what is important, Jacob. Yes, Father. <sighs> Keep seeing things. He seems nice. Ooh, what's that? Huh. A pipe valve. Strange thing to hide behind a painting. Oh, I guess we own it now. Pipe valve. Uh, can we take the painting with us, sir? Stern-looking fellow? Okay, thank God. I was worried it was gonna flash me back again. It's like, I do not need that in my life. There's a reason I didn't even bother trying to de-interlace all the... This clock is running counterclockwise. The time is one o'clock and the alarm is set to eight. Well, I didn't try to de-interlace all the videos from the, uh, the second episode. It's because there are just so many flashbacks that it wasn't worth it, especially when they were all like 15 to 30 seconds. A radio? Wonder if I can get any news from the outside world. Oh, well, they're sure getting their mileage out of that voice line. Today the world mourns as children who successfully responded to the hope drug begin to die. Well, that's not good. Alright, so... Looks like they had a... Uh, that hope drug, which was supposed to cure children of the mysterious disease, is uh, killing the people it's meant to save. That's unfortunate. Alright, let's see what's behind door number one here. Oh, there is no door number one. Now, this is. What a strange device. I wonder what it controls. What a strange. What a strange div- Yeah, that's all one device, apparently. What a strange div- What a strange div- Okay, I can't touch anything there. There's a hexagonal hole at this pipe junction. Hmm. Is- No. They gotta- There we pipe. go. Hey, that was easy. Alright. Squeaky, squeaky. See if that accomplished anything. Uh, the adventure hero spirit. What a strange device. Uh, what a strange de. Oh, hey, there's the it thing. It seems I... that the rotating electromagnet is linked to the stone weight, but what is the machine's purpose? Oh, okay. 
So we got a chain, I assume we pulled that when we... What does this thing do? I think I kind of get the puzzle here in that. Okay, let's reset it. There we go. Okay, that released three locks. That released a couple more. Oh, we are better off the other way. negative progress there. Otherwise, that is pure negative progress. Alright, now there is... Oh, that's not the one. Or no, let's actually... But I thought there was one of these. And it'd be a bit easier if, it, if I could tell the position better. Like, that's my only complaint. Is like, one of these things should be... Oh. Oh, it is? Okay. Uh, let's... Damn! Um... It seems that the rotating electromagnet is linked to the stone weight, but what is the machine's purpose? All right, so let's take some notes here. Uh, let's see, position. I really do need a paper and pencil for this one. It's a little more in depth from, like, an illustrative standpoint than the usual puzzle. Alright, let's see if I actually have a... I should have at least a sharpie around here. I'd like to have, like, a pen, pencil... Nope, okay, sharpie. Let's always put something under so it doesn't leak through. Uh, Alrighty, tidy. So, how much are we spinning this by? Oops, my bad. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's eight positions, so... One... Five, seven, eight. That sharpie is about dead. So that will um I bet sorry I <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm playing this on well I'm playing it in its native resolution in a window because that was like the only way it would work. 
so what I do to make it easier for me to play is I have uh, OBS uh, maximized to cover like the rest of the screen to kind of blow up that image so it's easier for me to play with. But for our reason today, I keep trying to click on OBS instead of on the actual um, image. What was I going to do? I think I was just going to... Uh... Okay, so that gives us those three. Okay, so now three, four, five, six, eight. This one should give us. I know this is riveting footage, but it's kind of necessary to keep from fumbling in the dark. Are those... Okay. more positions. I get it now. All right, okay. <laughs> so basically, where these three change depending on the position it's in. So, and like these three correspond with the three on there. Um. Yeah. All right, so honestly, that means there's going to be multiple solutions, probably. probably. So let's. We can start there for maximum engagement. And then we're going to have to flip these two. And then... We 
Okay, so these are both locked again, so let's flip those. And then, damn it, that leaves us with... Let's go to relock that guy in the place. Wait. No, it was, uh... Alright, uh... Is that guy locked in the place? He is. Okay. And he's the only one locked in the place. So now I think what we can do is basically this. Nope, that's not gonna... What I gotta do is get these guys. There we go. So there's the obvious thing there. That. Okay. Uh, let's see here. doesn't matter which way because that one's also disengaged. Are you engaged? It was engaged. No, I don't want to do that. I gotta rotate these suckers. that have too much choice, but... Alright, let's try that. Might be it. No. Because we still have that one on the side. Damn it. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh. left with one. One that's down. Where are you? Are you open? Okay, it was open. Uh, so 
they're all off except that top one now. And I use this to there we go. Now this should be all of them. Aha! Interesting. I don't know what that did, but... Interesting. Hey, it opened the gate. Okay, it did something. I feel like it did. Well, it did... I guess making that chart did help me figure out what Oh my on. god. It looks like a slaughterhouse. Uh oh another vision. Here, let me help you. God, such an idiot. Patience is the key, Max. Never let the problem get the better of you. You know, I wasn't always this brilliant. <laughs> I don't believe you. Oh, I used to botch my lab tests constantly. But I stuck with it and learned from my mistakes. You're my brightest student, Max. And you have the most potential out of all your classmates. Now come on, we still have a lot of work to do. What does it mean? Well, I think it means that your sister potentially died to this plague, and you became a doctor, or a medical researcher, to find a cure to the plague. But let's look at the bodies. Who would butcher these people like this? How could anyone describe such atrocities so, so clinically? Who would butcher these people like this? All right. Oh God, it's terrible. Let's see what else is in here. Answering hmm. machine. The local authorities are becoming increasingly suspicious of events here at the asylum. To ensure that my research continues unabated, I must rewrite the locking code for the back lab and move the subject's bodies down to the crematorium before the sheriff arrives for an inspection. The chalkboards must also be washed clean, for they contain the encrypted codes... Hey, Dr. Morgan, uh, yeah, we looked everywhere, but we ain't been able to find them. What? That's the third time this week. Uh, but I mean, uh, I mean, maybe... Spare me your insight. You're pathetic. A man cannot vanish into... <laughs> Both of you. Get this wretch out of here. He's too damn old for my purposes. As for our missing patient, I'll find him myself. Well, what about this stuff? Uh, shouldn't we ought to clean up here? I mean, before the inspection. I mean, I'm uh, aware of it. We'll take care of this mess after we find him. Alright, so it sounds like the doctor in charge is uh, trying to keep us down. And maybe he's also researching a uh, cure for the plague, but... Uh, I have a feeling there's a message hidden in this rambling mess. Experiments 1 and 2 were complete failures. Unexpected complications during my exploration into the brains of the test subjects regrettably cost them their lives. The loss of a few lives is negligible when compared to the benefits that a cure may bring. Obviously, I was in air when I thought the root of insanity grew from the prison cell. Housed elsewhere within the complex frame of the human body lies the key, but where? There are so many dark avenues to explore that I hardly know where to begin. Humbled by this daunting task, I need time to regroup before I renew my search for this elusive prey. Years of research have taught me to be patient, else all could be lost in a reckless pursuit of the solution. Hey, that doesn't help me right now, unless it's... Who would butcher these people like this? Nope, okay, I thought... It... For some reason, I see it, and I, I just think there's going to be, like, a key hidden in there. But, yeah, it's possible this researcher is also, um, researching, trying to research a cure, but, uh, is, uh, trying to take some shortcuts with, you know, live medical experiments on his patients. Who would butcher these people like this? And apparently we're proving troublesome because we keep going missing. There's some kind of electronic security system on this door. Electronic 
supersonic. Damn! Enter code. Well, this isn't working. Uh, yeah, I think that's just the answering machine again. What's in this? I what? have a feeling there's a message hidden in this rambling mess. I search in vain for the elusive solution to this, a most intriguing puzzle. Evading me the way a mouse does a cat, the source of insanity remains hidden from me. Darting from flesh to muscle, muscle to bone, and back again to the porches of the mind, this evil seems always to maintain one step ahead of me. How can I trap what I cannot see? Surely I am close to the source by now. Eventually it must rest, and when it does, I will be there to ensnare this beast. Once removed from its host, I am confident that it will wither and die like the weed that it is. Knowing now how difficult it is to find this hidden monster, I am led to believe that the age of my test subjects may be a factor. Younger subjects tend to display less evidence of infection. The madness is so entrenched within the aged frames of my older subjects that it is nearly impossible to discern the sane tissue from the insane. Okay, so it's some sort of brain disease, I think. Uh... Uh, really? That's, uh, uh, I, I thought it was going to be like the numbers, which would be experiments housed elsewhere within the complex frame of the human body lies the key. But okay, where? which this feels there are so many dark avenues to explore that I hardly know where to begin. Humbled by this daunting task, I need time to regroup before I renew my search for this elusive prey. Oh, okay. Years it's of research have taught me to be patient. The and first letter of the sentences. Pursuit for the solution. Where's it every capital? Nope, this is the first letter. I have a. F Let's see what this I one search has. Searching vain for the elusive solution to this, a most intriguing puzzle. Evading me the way a mouse does a cat, the source of insanity remains hidden from me. Darting from flesh to muscle, muscle to bone, and back again to the fortress of the mind, this evil seems always to maintain one step ahead of me. How can I trap what I cannot see? Surely I am close to the source by now. Eventually it must rest, and when it does. I will be there to ensnare this beast. Once removed from its host, I am confident that it will wither and die like the weed that it is. Knowing now how difficult it is to find this hidden monster, I am led to believe that the age of my test subjects may be a factor. Okay. Younger I'm subjects cool. tend to display less evidence of infection. The madness is so entrenched within the aged frames of my older subjects that it is nearly impossible to discern the same tissue from the... And let's see what this one is. Please have a don't make me re-highlight them all. Experiments were housed elsewhere within the complex frame of the Alright. Now let's see if we can uh Oh he's gotta walk all the way over there, huh? I have a feeling there's oh, there a is message a third hidden one. in this rambling mess. Shall I venture forth to unravel the mysteries that lurk beneath the mundane flesh, or turn back in fear of what I may find? At times I feel as though the weight of the world rests upon my weary shoulders. Lacking any sense of direction, I have blindly followed in the footsteps of those who walked before me. Valiant, though my intentions may have been, I was powerless to stem the tide of insanity that washed against the shores of the asylum. Although conventional medicine has yielded a few encouraging results, 
I see no indication that an answer will be found using those methods. The time for conservative medicine has passed, and a new approach is necessary. Outside of the mainstream, with scalpel in hand and hope in my heart, I now prepare to tread upon the virgin soil of the mind. All right, let's... No longer... Oops, I didn't, uh... My bad, I thought he was finished reading it, but... We got... It looks like a word scramble puzzle thing. Damn! Um... I must have to do something. Still. I have a feeling... Shall I venture forth to unravel the mysteries that lurk beneath the mundane flesh, or turn back in fear of what I may find? Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Yeah, that was the easiest one, so let's try that code first. And just in case, this has been a... Can I not? Ah. Oh. Do I have to leave? Normally I hit escape and uh, I can bring up the menu, but uh, it's not letting me. I hope to, uh, I hope I don't have to redo this, but uh, we should be able to. Salvation. Okay, so it needs each code. There we go. Save game. Oh, this is still considered Chapter 5. Interesting. Um, okay, that was save. Always a little bit paranoid after that one snap. Alright, so I think we got... I have a feeling there's a met... Most of the... Experiments 1 and 2 were complete failures. Unexpected complications during my exploration into the brains of the test subjects regrettably cost them their lives. loss of a few lives mm. is negligible when compared to the benefits that a cure may bring. Obviously, I was in air when I thought the rudiments had any proof of the brain itself. Housed elsewhere within the complex frame of the human body lies the key, but where? There are so many dark avenues to explore that I hardly know where to begin. Humbled by this daunting task, I need time to regroup before I renew my search for this elusive prey. Years of research have taught me to be patient all to be lost in a reckless pursuit of a solution. Uh... Oh. I see it now. Salvation, the youth, and is this going to be the aged? Come on, come on. Get I have a. F There's a message in it. Search in vain for the elusive solution to this, a most intriguing puzzle. Evading me the way a mouse does a cat, the source of insanity remains hidden from me. Darting from flesh to muscle, muscle to bone, and back again to the fortress of the mind, this evil seems always to maintain one step ahead of me. How can I trap what I cannot see? Surely I am close to the source by now. Eventually it must rest, and when it does, I will be there to ensnare this beast. Once removed from its host, I am confident that it will wither and die like the weed that it is. Knowing now how difficult it is to find this hidden monster, I am led to believe that the age of my test subjects may be a factor. Younger subjects tend to display less evidence of infection, the madness is so entrenched within the aged frames of my older subjects that it is nearly impossible to discern the sane tissue from the insane. Hmm. Just kind of... I should probably break these up because I feel like it's not... Can't be that. Um, 
I would. This almost looks like it could be death, but there's no A. I'm just trying to think. You'd think a two letter word and a three letter word would really narrow it down. We have enough for the, so let's move that. Let's move that over. I think we can be fairly confident. But that is, uh, come on. That that's gonna be correct. Uh, cider? No. I don't even have an R, so. Oh, like. We have key. The decoy is no. <laughs> uh, so we have a couple possible words. We have the is. Uh, I think there are a few others. I don't know. Key is. What if we move key to the front? Just for shits and giggles. See if that makes anything scream out at me. Oh hey, I can do direct swap. Key de hot is. Heights. Well, this is something. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Too far away. I guess that was. I guess that was it. All right. Uh, just in case this is the level transition. Save game. We will save here, and I always forget that the uh, this doesn't do what I want. Oh, oh, I gotta go to main menu and then <laughs> it totally messes me up. But uh, in case this is the end of the level, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there. And we'll see you then. The youth hides Key to salvation. Nope. Damn. Uh, <laughs> if only we had another. Uh. Youth hides the key to salvation. Youth hides the key to salvation. Hey.
wandering again. You know you can't come in here. I, uh, um... We've been through this before. If you ever want to get better, you have to let me help you. I know all this must be confusing to you. Even frightening. But this work is going to help so many people. Sick people. People with no hope. No! No! Calm down. You're going to hurt yourself. Those straps can hold a man twice your strength. 